we need to hook up software, whether it's blogging software, e-commerce software, or whatever it is, to the domain name. And we're going to use an FTP um, program. It's called a File Transfer Protocol. Just go to Google, type in FileZilla. This is free, by the way, just like almost everything else on the website is. Uh, FileZilla-project.org. And then you're going to download the client version. I already have this installed in mine, so for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to forward. Okay, so once this is installed, you'll come up to this window here, and um, what you're going to do is type in host, which is uh, the URL, I mean the domain name. In our case, this was uh, disabledveteransusa.org. And remember that username, uh, live demonstration, and then the password. In one of the previous videos, you saw that I did the .com version, and it says uh, disabled veterans USA.com coming soon. There was hosting, but we have no software uh, hooked up to either one of these domains. And I'll show you exactly how this works. So here you can see that I have uh, disabledveteransusa.com and .org. So file transfer protocol is basically taking files from your computer and transferring them over to uh, a remote server. On the left hand side, this is the stuff on your desktop or inside your PC. On the right hand side here, this is the server. In this case, it's DreamHost. And this would be GoDaddy or HostGator. Or it doesn't matter. And at the top, it actually shows you what's happening inside uh, the program You know, while the files are being transferred. So to make this quick, you could see here that I have a, a lot of my programs here. And that's my desktop. Um, obviously, no one's going to have that except for me, that don't delete. And the way this program works, these little two buttons, if you go, if you click it, it goes up a folder, up a folder. Okay, so we want to get down to WordPress. And uh, for the sake of this presentation, um, Instead of uploading anything, I'm just doing blogging software. So for disabledveteransusa.org, we click on that. I want to install WordPress blogging software here. So I'm going to make sure that this is the .org and that it's not the .com on accident. If you accidentally delete something, you're going to delete a website here. So. Um, there is no undo button. You'll have to do a lot of the stuff manually. So make sure you're in the correct uh, domain name. And if you have purchased 10 domain names and you've hosted them, you're going to see all of them here. So I just backed up a little bit here. And OK, so this is the WordPress version 3.3. Get to this area. And we're going to take these files and we're going to drag them to the right. So that's a control A. It grabs everything drag it over and of course we're going to make sure that we're in the dot org and don't worry you're going to mess up and in the beginning and there we go starting to download everything you see it's only worked on one folder so far and it's going to pull in the other content and includes so let this run for I don't know 10-15 minutes okay now that's done you can see down here at the bottom, um, all of the files have transferred over successfully. Uh, if you see anything that says failed transfers, just try to transfer them over. And I want to show you that uh, disabledveteransusa.com has nothing in it, while uh, the .org version has WordPress. So I'm going to install Magento e-commerce software on here onto the .com. Okay, so for this one I'm going to hit the up button here, get out of the WordPress, 
and look for Magento. Oh, damn it. Um, get into the Magento folder. Okay, now for sure I'm going to make sure I don't want to be in the .org. Get into the .com. Going to pull these files from my desktop. Drag them over to the .com version. This just tells me that there was a favicon. I had Magento installed in this before, but I deleted it and I didn't delete that favicon. Magento e-commerce takes a long time, so once you start installing this, go grab a coffee. So while Magento takes a sweet time uploading, I want to go over FTP a little bit more with you. Pretend this is your overall website or uh, um, your overall business. And, you know, there's some businesses that own other businesses, like a conglomerate. Hopefully you'll one day have, you know, multiple websites. Let's say this business has a company with the .com and the .org. Okay, and I really do want you to uh, visualize this. I'm going to use the .org and I'm going to say, um, you know, when you're in the office, you walk in and you see three filing cabinets, all right? Now, these three filing cabinets are called admin, content, and includes. So down here, I'm going to just go into it. Admin, content, includes. You can see that they line up perfectly. If I pull my thing down, well, whatever. Um, admin, content, and includes. So imagine that these are from left to right. Admin, content, includes, and you want to take a look inside the filing cabinet of content. It's standing right there. In, it's right there in front of you. And you click onto it, or look at it, and there's two big uh, drawers. One is called plugins, the other one is called themes. Now when you pull out the themes uh, drawer, you're going to see two folders within that drawer. And there's a piece of paper probably just hanging out. It's called index. Okay, so uh, in this uh, drawer of themes, well there's two more folders and within the folder, this folder, uh, well, there, we found some uh, another folder called images, and this is basically where you find all your crap. You don't have to know m any of this stuff, really. Well, you do, but you know, right now, I just want you to visualize how it works. Think about it as a business that has filing cabinets. I'm taking files from my computer, and I'm transferring them over to uh, the server, and each one of them we're going to be able to go into these and add photos. We'll be able to add some HTML if we need to, or if something breaks, you know, we could find it through here, uh, what went wrong. For right now, a lot of the easy, some of the easy things you're going to do, you're not going to have to get very more, much more complicated than this. We're going to create another directory here, and this is under the, uh, the .org, and we're going to call it images. Okay, now I just created another um, filing cabinet. And this one's just going to have my regular images, not stuff that's coming out of the software, but my personal one. Okay, so I am uploading a profile picture. Okay, finally we're done. So you just saw me uh, upload a picture. I created another uh, directory yeah. and to follow the um, theme that I was talking about I created another cabinet one called images now I'm going to delete the picture within that cabinet or that directory delete it yes boom done just gonna delete that directory done okay now this is the dot org I'm gonna refresh and now we have WordPress ready to install now here's the .com. Now we have Magento installed. All we have to do now is just hook it up to the database.
That'll be the next lesson. I hope I didn't bore you guys that much. Okay, thanks. Leave some comments.